Larval Acid is an extremely useful regent in classic World of Warcraft. Notably, it's used for things like the Hide of the Wild and the Enchant Glove Threat Enchantment. But Larval Acid is extremely interesting if you ask me, because it's only found on four mobs in the entire game. One of them, the Sandworm, is a rare elite, so it's very hard to get that one. And the other is a Silicate Feeder, which is only found inside the AQ-20 instance and only easily accessible by stealth classes and hunters. So if you want to farm some Larval Acid, guess what? You gotta get out to Plaguelands and start killing some big old worms, dude. So today we're gonna reset our kill tracker and we're gonna spend some time in Plaguelands killing 500 of the Carrion Worms. Now these guys do do a disgusting attack speed debuff, which is gonna make this quite an extra long farm today. So I'm gonna have to break this up into two, into two parts. So that's all right, but first kill down, Slimy Icker. Or maybe it's not an attack speed debuff, but it's it's this attack power debuff. But anyway, there are two worms you can find here in Plaguelands. The Carrion Grub and the Carrion Devourer. The Carrion Devourer technically has a better drop rate at 6% chance, but the Grubs are still great at 4%. So today, I'm just going to run around and get a nice little smorgish board of killing bugs. So I did do my research as usual, and it does look like, according to Wowhead, that the Carrion Devourer is really only found up on the top half of Plaguelands. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, you know, Nax just came out, so there's a ton of high-level players here, so this is this is basically gonna turn into a game of let's see how long I can keep my Ani buff. <laughs> Slimy Icker and Gelatinous Goo. My goo! My precious goo! We're not losing, like, any health on these guys, that's for sure. These upgrades are definitely paying off for these, like, you know, mid-level 50 farms. Oh, our first carry and devour. Now we're talking. Is it me or are these guys a little thicker? I don't even know what their death animation is. Let's see. Oh, dude, look how gross they are. Imagine dying to one of these. Do you guys remember that scene in King Kong? Oh, wait, let's kill this thing first. Oh, do you see my little shield proc there? The nature resistance? That's going to proc from the maggot goo. Very cool. That's going to be very helpful today. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the scene in King Kong where they all fall down the ravine and that one dude gets eaten by those worm looking things. That's exactly what these guys remind me of. Okay, so these guys are a little spread out. This farm might be a little tricky today. I'm, I'm, this is going to be a long farm today. So the cool thing about Larval Acid, or I guess the cool thing I should say about Hide of the Wild is it's actually like... It might be pre bis for most healers. So, Larval Acid will always be in a decent demand. I think just with the recent uh, figuring out of being able to farm the worms in AQ20, Larval Acid did drop a little bit of price, but it still should be worth something. So the strat, I can already tell, uh, it's gonna be a lot. My virtual legs are gonna be tired, bro, because we are. it's just gonna be ground covering, just straight up zigzagging the whole map. I'm going to spend more pl more time in Plaguelands tonight and tomorrow than most people will spend in all of Classic. I'm going to miss the Flying Citadels. I think they're the, you know, like the little, you know, the little ziggurats floating in the sky or whatever you call them. I'm going to miss those things. I think they're really cool. They, they look nice in the game. And look at our health here, dude. We lost 91% health and then we get the nature resistance. So this maggot goo is just completely absorbed. That is just, it's like my character was built for this farm. <laughs> And if you guys don't know it, or are wondering why I'm getting all these absorbs, it's my thick obsidian breastplate. Whenever I get hit by a spell, I have a chance to get a little shield that absorbs it. This thing cost me like 800 gold. Probably a little cheaper now. I got it early. But I can't recommend it enough. The, the thick obsidian breastplate, literally, it's just, it might not be the best, right? Like Conquerors is probably better for more situations or whatever, but it's fun. I, I just love fighting and seeing that little shield proc. It's, it's one of my favorite items in the whole game, honestly. Oh my god, alright. Here we are guys, at 99 total kills. All this gelatinous goo and slimy ichor and only two larval acid, but I do see our 100th kill here. I don't even know how long this is going to take. I, I can already tell you though, this is not going to be a good gold per hour. This one is pretty painful, but it's okay, we're already started, so no turning back now, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Oh, that would have been really cool. But for our 100th carrying grub, let's go ahead and pop recklessness here. 
hopefully we'll get something good because so far we haven't even gotten a green yet, bro. So for our 100th carrion grub, we get a slimy icker. Shocker. <laughs> All right, so two larval acids down, 400 kills to go. I need to go make some breakfast and kind of like get some stuff out of the way today if I want to be able to get this done in just a day. So we really got to crank up the heat. So I will talk to you guys when we are at 500 total kills. Oh. My. God. <laughs> 499 of these carrion grubs down, and dude, this, I'll be 100% honest, I bit off a little bit more than I can chew, like, I, uh, I had to go spend some time with my grandparents because of, uh, Hanukkah today, and basically had to reorient my entire day and just give up sleep last night to be able to get this done, so... Whatever, but I feel super accomplished because today we got 500 of these carrion grubs down. So for our 500th kill, we get... You know what? You know what? I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. I'm just happy that I can finally get out of here and go see something else. Because I think in total this probably took me about 8 or 9 hours. So absolutely insane farm. Couldn't unrecommend it enough, but... Before we get into all that, let's go to Stormwind and check out all the loot. All right, bro, here we are in Stormwind, and we, as you can see here, we had 419 of the Carrion Grubs and 81 of the Devourers, which I didn't even really notice how many more Grubs I was getting. I was just looking for both, but uh, but that's kind of interesting if you ask me, but what's really interesting is check this out. Does this look a little one-sided to you or what? Because one of these looks a little bit more uh, full than the other, but... And unfortunately, it's the one that I don't want to be full, which is the Vendorables. But when it comes to good stuff, we literally only got 13 Larval Acid, which, to be fair, is more than I thought we were going to get. But one green, which literally makes me question if I know at all how loot works. Because the fact that you can kill 500 mobs and only get one green, I mean, it's, it's genuinely like, what? I don't even know what to make of this. This is just a complete wrench in what I thought was loot, but... Either way, then we get all these Venderables, which would be 198 Slime Maker, and then 199 Gelatinous Goo. So similar drop rate on those guys. So those guys were beasts, right? So we are sitting at zero gold because, well, they don't drop any. But when we Vendor all this stuff, we get up to a nice, or not so nice, I guess, six gold and eight silver. Oh, that is painful, dude. That is painful. But that's okay because we still have some stuff to sell. A huge haul of loot here, right guys? I don't know, what, what should we start with? Uh, <laughs> let's start with the armor. 
48 attack power on a male. I'll do 999 on that. That'll for sure make a hunter happy. And then when we get to the, the meat of this farm, I mean, I guess it's the only thing from this farm, the larval acid, three gold, 82 silver, a pop. I'm going to do 379. Make sure they all sell at uh, 13 stacks of one. Even with a three gold deposit, this is uh, this is pretty not too good. <laughs> For sure. I would not recommend this farm, guys. I had to do it. I had to test it out. Some people wanted me to check out those worms, but, you know, I was like, yeah, this sounds like a nice cozy farm. Those guys aren't too hard to kill. And like eight or nine hours later, we're sitting at probably about, what, 25 gold from that farm. So definitely unlucky and definitely just not a smart farm. If you're looking for gold per hour, this is definitely not the farm for you. But I always like to experiment with interesting mobs, so if any of you guys have any ideas for mobs to kill or recommendations for the series, let me know in the comments because I'm, I could definitely use some ideas. <laughs> but anyways, that's going to do it for me, guys. I don't want to ramble today. I'll leave my Twitch up on screen now if you go over there and leave me a follow. That'd be dope. I'm going to stream TBC arenas all day when they get announced, so super excited for that. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Good luck on your farms out there. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy. My name's Barakic, and I will see you guys in the next one.